She has always spoke publicly about her experience as a former member of the Church of Scientology. And Leah Remin used confidence as she stepped out on the red carpet in a red floral gown at the Producers Guild Awards, at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills on Saturday. The 47-year-old actress appearance comes just days after sharing an open letter claiming her old religion was responsible for Oscar-winning screenwriter and producer Paul Haggis' sexual misconduct and assault allegations. On Monday, Leah wrote a public letter with Mike Rinner stating, those who accuse without going to law enforcement, those who seek hush money to keep their stories secret, those who make accusations to the media anonymously, they are suspect. The letter continued, and when the target of these tactics is someone who is a prominent critic of Scientology, it is very suspect. Haggis has denied the claims, and all four women have denied being involved with the Church of Scientology. But Ramini and Rinder believe this lawsuit has been funded by their old religion. We expect the next revelations about Paul Haggis and this campaign to destroy him to be based on information culled from the Scientology files in the form of more anonymous accusers, hiding behind a lawyer who will never have to disclose who is paying their bill, the two wrote. Haggis has denied all rape claims. Ramini, Rinder and Haggis are all prominent defectors from the Church of Scientology, who have gone on to speak their minds about the practices of the group. Haggis left the group in 2009, after being a member for 35 years, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Ramini left in 2013, and Rinder left in 2007. Meanwhile, on the red carpet was pregnant Eva Longoria Baston glammed up bumping alongside Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. The expecting 42-year-old whose son with third husband Jose Pepe Baston is due in May, donned the bell-sleeved LBD and stilettos selected by stylist Charlene E. Roxborough Kotsker. The glowing Golden Globe nominee rocked dramatic lashes, peach blush, and accessorized with a David Webb 18K gold buckle cuff and X-diamond bracelets. Eva, who boasts 17.3M social media followers, shared an Insta story of her hairdresser pal Ken Paves coiffing her sleek ponytail extension for the red carpet. Longoria also posted Insta stories of herself mingling at the Beverly Hilton Hotel bash with famous gal pals Mary J. Blige, Chrissy Ellis Ross, Reese, and Carrie. It was hours after the Time's Up fundraiser spoke at the second annual Women's March in LA's Pershing Square. This march and this movement is far more ambitious in scope and scale and it extends beyond one political actor or even one political party, the Texican stunner said from the podium, according to CNN. What we're calling for is sustainable and systematic change to the experience of women and girls in America. A change from fear and intimidation to respect. From pain and humiliation to safety and dignity. From marginalization to equal pay and representation. On Friday, Eva did her part stepping behind the camera and wrapping her second episode of ABC sitcom Blackish, titled North Star which airs later this year. Acting-wise, Longoria will next play Teresa in Bob Fisher and Rob Greenberg's 2018 remake of the 1987 amnesia comedy Overboard, which hits U.S. theaters on April 20. Oscar-winning Witherspoon, 41, sparkled in a sheer nude short-sleeved creation and a pair of ornate red velvet Chloe Gosselin heels selected by her stylist Leslie Freemer. Golden Globe-nominated Washington, turning 41 this month, also went sheer in a floral Paolo Sebastian dress and gold Louboutin heels selected by Joseph Castle Falconer. Grammy-winning Mary, 47, flaunted her cleavage in a mustard-belted Ali Saab gown selected by image architect La Roche. The 45-year-old daughter of Diana Ross opted for Iran, 